Welcome to the Invasion Session 6. I am Ryan the GM, it's the 20th of May 2020. Uh, yeah, here's the players. It's always weird because the title's so short in this game, or all my other games are so long. But anyway, here we are. Players, go. Hi there, my name's Gregor. I'm going to be playing an Air Genasi by the name of Adair, who is a bit of a rogue. Hey, I'm Scott. I am playing Alvin, who is actually here today, and is a wee gnome who is an art professor. Good evening, I'm Alexander, and I'm playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still terrible at everything. Playing Laura. Oh, um, we got none of that. None of that came through. Oh. Try again. Oh, hold on, then. <laughs> this is definitely why I prefer to do mic. Hello, uh, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Laid, the Loxodon. You need to hold that push to talk button that bit longer, unless it's sensitivity issues. It's not push to talk. Then it's the sensitivity <laughs> issues, because it's cutting you off, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. Nope, don't fall for it. That's an Alexander trick, that one. Uh, do you want to just go for it, Thea? We'll see what happens. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there. I need to like not look at that chat. Mm -hmm. Hi there, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. Yes. And did we get you in back? In do you want me to go again? Yeah, yeah why not? Hi, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Lauda. The locks are under it. Much better. Like a million times better. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. Thank you. <laughs> um, You're welcome. And back to the top. So, who remembers what happened Take back last now, time? Yeah. Well, Lyuda decided to, to run off and help some guy that we don't know instead of helping us, and we uh, nearly died a lot. Um, Wow. <laughs> Thea, Thea has lost her mask and we got arrested. That's 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 it. That's not. We totally were about true. to be arrested. Oh, we weren't technically arrested. We're being escorted. Yeah. I think the phrase After "taken into custody" was was <laughs> stated. So yes, that's exactly what was said. Yeah, well, take take from that what you will. Also, Thea didn't lose her mask. She well, left she dropped it. Her mask. Yeah. These are important differences. No, yeah. oh, I lost my mask. You you actively left it. Like, <laughs> you actively it. threw it on the ground. Yes. <laughs> so I threw it on the ground! I was, um, I was thinking of that too. Yep, 100% on Island. I, only, Island. I yep. totally forgot it existed. <laughs> so good. Uh, um, um, Fleabite had a hearty meal. Yes. A, oh, yeah, you did. Oh, God, yeah, that was awful. Oh. Just fucking cycle. So, yeah, things Adair like that. Did you just his favourite term? Yeah, I was going to say, things like that might be you know, warrant for our new and fully operational X card functionality. <laughs> um, may or may not, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, um, didn't bug me. Might bug other people. We'll see. Uh, sorry, what was that, Adair? Um, I introduced my new uh, catchphrase, uh, you hideous chud. Yes. Because we don't know what the invaders <laughs> yeah. are called, so that's my thing. <laughs> yes, you've, you have named the, UV, the invaders officially now, the chuds. Um, the chuds. Yeah. I prefer um, that catchphrase to what the fuck. So. Yeah. Uh, Leaky cheek. It's the, oh, we've learned the importance of um, the order of what you do in your turn. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's true. Yes. Um, I don't know why I feel like that's shade, but uh, here we are. Later, um, like, he's absolutely fucking useless at actually, actually hitting any attacks. He's just good at controlling spirits and things. Good at being at the wrong place. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Scott, you back oh. with us? Yeah, I never went anywhere. Well, what do you remember from last week? Last week, nothing from two hours ago, quite a lot. Okay, talk <laughs> us through it. Uh, yeah, so the entire session was pretty much a gigantic fight, which I found funny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, praise be Spirit Wolf, Fox, even. Um, that thing was badass. Um, yeah, uh, the guy, we still don't know who the fuck he is, and then he done the boost, mm -hmm. left us with a small boy, and then uh, mad-ass robots are taking us into custody. Oh, good shit, that boy's with me. 
Yeah. No. Ah, you got a problem. <laughs> deer, the babysitter. Daddy a deer. Oh, yeah. Daddy a deer. The worst <laughs> person you could have left him with. I'm gonna try and sell yeah, him. Kinder tasty meat. <laughs> hey, I feel like we like slightly worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it gives him a gravity bomb to hold. In fact, you're objectively oh the second best person to live. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth as well? Horrible, horrible <laughs> truth. Um, yeah, man. What horrible role models you guys might be. Uh, right. I mean, I'll I'll definitely teach him not to play with Alvin's gravity bombs. Like, that's not a great the... like bar, though, is it? Like, if that's... I think it's quite high. I mean, not for Alvin. Child is going to be a student one day, and you know how Alvin feels about students. Yeah, that's true. For I the not my fault they're my own. not immune to getting pasted on. Is it because it's higher <laughs> education that you take umbrage to it, Elvin? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But, but the parents don't want their kids to go to college just to save them from Alvin. Yeah, that's a, that's what kids <laughs> are. <laughs> they've they've done away with like entrance like le like minimum requirements. It's just it's just fear. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, those brave enough to go to college deserve to go. People, people blamed the invasion for the dark age that came upon the land of education, but no, it was Elvin, a lone gnome. Bear me, motherfuckers. Tasty student <laughs> party. Uh, so let's swiftly move into the goals section of the conversation, shall we? Uh, who's changing their goals? Oh. Who's keeping their goals? Goals. Right. Well, I need a new goal. Cool. Can you see why? Can you see why though? It was a bad goal. No. Maybe. Okay, so. Where did my black box go on top? Uh, who knows what happened there? Uh, let's speak with Adira Ryan. first. Yes, hello. Uh, um, now I am tempted to keep my goal because I do want my character to learn to navigate using the stars. But after that last battle, yes, I need myself a hand. A, not a hand crossbow, but a light crossbow. So would. I delete my current goal and replace it with um, acquire a light crossbow or can I have two or is it best just to have one? So put the goal you've got into the list below, mm -hmm. which is the currently not relevant goals. I um, added the word currently because I felt not relevant was too finalistic. I... Are we just moving the cell or are we just copy and pasting? I just copy paste, it's fine. Um, paste. And then we'll just Type in a new active goal for now. Ah, uh, currently not relevant. Right, cool. I and just dump it in there. Yeah. there was something down there. Yeah, I just figured now, you still come up with ideas that might not be relevant yet. So throw in all your goal ideas there. Just add new lines in, etc. Um, cool. Formatting should be obvious by now. But then, what yeah. If a goal at the bottom becomes relevant halfway through a session, doesn't matter, does it? It wasn't a goal. Like if I achieve one of those goals, it's there. But the goals aren't doesn't... the goals aren't relevant. So unless it's slotted, it's not being pursued. So it couldn't possibly have been completed because it never existed. Right? Okay. Makes sense? So it's not a quest log user are writing here. It's mm -hmm. things you're actively pursuing in the present. So yeah. if it's not in your actively pursuant slot, doesn't matter. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. I basically, I just want my character to be better at range. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, if you, you want to acquire like crossbow, do you have all the relevant proficiencies? Um, I'd hope so as a rogue. Top of my... <laughs> yes, off the top of my head, I want to say yes, but I'm going to double check my sheet. Um, but I'm still getting used to this kind of sheet. Where would that? Oh, come on, internet. There so it's at the bottom uh, left in your proficiencies block. Uh, it just depends if it f if it comes under simple weapon or not. Um, I shall double check. I've got weapon as hand crossbow. So that's a hand crossbow, not the light yeah, one. I but need to check. Yeah. I need to try and reach my player's handbook, which is on the shelf for some bizarre reason, despite it being a Wednesday. I am. Um, or to those listening to this in the future, whatever they are listening on. Um, uh, light crossbow, piercing, ammunition, yakety schmackety, two handed, ranged. Nah, it'll be in the equipment list annoyingly, because why would it tell you the type of proficiency it was needed on the actual item, right? Who would ever design a system with that answer? Some people? <laughs> it's just, it's um, done. Uh, a, cr a light crossbow is a simple, simple range. weapon. Yeah, it's a simple yes. ranged weapon. Yeah, cool. You'll be fine. I'm, I'm fine, cool. Yeah, and yeah. that can be a goal, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Uh, then that is updated because I'd rather have 80 feet than just 30. Yeah. Cool. Good. I'm assuming then and your that's... other interpretation of the rules then would be off-putting for that because you would have thought that would have been disadvantage up to 80 feet then. Yep. Right. Uh, it's something, and I don't know who it came from, but we all thought that way. That's okay. And it, yeah. was, it was just, I don't think any of us have actually properly read the handbook since we ever first got our own. I mean, we mm -hmm. all have one. Um, I think I use it as a coaster more than <laughs> um, Oh, no, that hurts. That really hurts me, yeah. <laughs> I have a nice <laughs> tent, say, like, I've got a tent printing like foil cover edition of it. I then, want it. That's a yeah, mine's up on a plinth. I've also got the other special edition tent printing one with the, uh, was it the Fire Giant or whatever it's called on the front cover? Um, the black and red one. Oh yeah, my friend's got that. I it's mean, don't really me um, when I say it, it's more like a coaster, it's on a shelf with stuff on top of it. Um, that feels less worse than a coaster, because, oh god. Yeah. But anyway, um, oh, as no, for if, that... If I ever put a drink on it, I'd kill someone. So, <laughs> <laughs> I liked your phrasing. And um, Yeah, so acquire like crossbow, yeah, I think that's that's reasonable, yeah. That seems yep. challenging, given your current predicament, yeah. Um, 25 gold, I believe. I, it depends where you're buying it from, right? That is very true. Yeah, but yeah, assume it'll be thereabouts the price in the book, right? I'm not terribly fond of messing with prices unless it is like an actual rare item for a reason. Like if like crossbows were this particular country's export, right? Then they're probably quite cheap to buy there. So, but that's good. Yeah, but there, that's not I to say that's what that Runestad has uh, exports of that kind. Uh, cool, Alvin, call me. Um, I'm literally struggling to think of one. Okay, I'll move on. Cognac. Hmm, he seems <laughs> struggling as well. Strong silent type. But he still does have a goal slotted, which is probably still relevant. Flea bite. I'm assuming you're happy with yours currently, or do you wish to change it? Yeah, I'm happy with my one currently. Um, I've updated... I've, I've added more to my not currently relevant. Right, okay. Uh, but... So I might slot them in a different week. So are they okay as ones just to have there? Yeah, I think the the bottom one is solid, quite frankly. I, the top one is still going to be, I think, I still feel like significantly affect someone with magic is better than successfully, but that's fine. I just, the word significant seems to be a prerequisite for your types of goal, sleep bite. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see when those, those come up for relevancy. Uh, but Kurt, cool. for, for yours just now, yeah, when a significant wager against Adair is good. Uh, and then Lauda, repair relationship with Thea, mutually achieve something together with teamwork. Unlike, yeah, every time I try it, it seems to get worse. So. I mean, to be fair, you did start the pre-game with shade towards excuse me, Thea, so I mean, we're doing well yeah, out of game as well. Um, that's, that's, that's not better. Like. Are we happy to keep the goal or update a change? Yeah, I'm happy to keep it. Thea! Yeah, uh, get the party transfer <laughs> like back to Belnor once her business is done in Runestad. Yeah. Do you want me to say that again slower? No, it's fine, I got it. Uh, oh, good. Party transport back to little Belnor once her business in, is done in Runestad. Yeah, good. Cool. Um, what about Alvin? Does anyone have any ideas for Alvin? That's just what I was going to ask, guys, because. Honestly, I, I can't really think well, of Well, in fact, see before people lobby with ideas then, right? So, what is Alvin's immediate focus, right? If you were Alvin, and everything that has happened in the game has happened, what would Alvin's next step immediately be? Leave the gravity bombs in his pouch for an episode. <laughs> nah. Um, I was going to say get a better bag to carry them in. No, no, I so was, let him, yeah, let I Alvin was think, going yeah. to say, so obviously, these guys, these machine boys have shown up being like, right, you're trespassing, you're coming with us. So basically prove that we are we've been asked to come there and not end up in jail. Right. Or dead. Okay. Or whatever. And how would you do that if not for the item I gave you to take you here to prove that? Right? Can you see well, that's I, the thing. Th th this yeah. is like get the party to Runestad. You're just saying what I'm telling you guys to do back to me. Yeah, yeah, this is what I mean. So like, you need to stop um, doing that. 
Mm -hmm. So, so I really, I really don't know what to do for a goal. Well, what, what matters to Alvin, right? Adventure, and okay. knowledge and fun. Right. So, what if it could be learn something new and interesting while in Runestad? Right. Ooh. Yeah. Learn right. how these robot guys work. I mean, they could have people in them. You just don't know. That's true. Right. But then if you learn that... I'll find out. Yeah. Can you see? Like, it would need to be like mm -hmm. you actively pursuing study, blah, 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 learning. Not just going, mm. so are those robots? And then the guy going, what's a robot? And then you're like, hmm, I've learned they might not be robots. Did that complete the goal? No. Can you see what I mean? Mm. It would need to be something tangible. So can, would it be okay to just put learn, learn something new in Rudenstad? I mean, that is the worst wording possible. What you want to um, do is learn something dot 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 descriptive word, right? About or while in Runestead. Also, you're in the wrong line. Yes, I am. So, why don't you try something like learn something new magically in Runestead? Or something new about... I don't know, you tell me. You might not care about Runestead, it could be anything, but of that nature, I think it goes that way then. If you care about adventure and new stuff... That's the way to think about writing a goal. Maybe something like, um, you know, make their time in Runestead more, um, more interesting by finding out something to help with something. Um, <laughs> to, to learn something about something. A lot of this reminds me <laughs> of the, that Simpsons episode. Sorry to derail the goal conversation, but it's like when Homer wakes up and the house is on fire and goes, It's okay, the song! Something, something, then you'll see. You'll avoid <laughs> catastrophe! It's <laughs> 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 one of my favourite things about the Simpsons ever. It's just, uh Perfect. Okay, let's have... Uh, oh, no, 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 I know what I'm doing. Okay. Learn. You might be onto something, boys. Oh, oh. This could be dangerous. It will be. Oh, drum roll, that would really annoy everyone, so I won't. <laughs> mm. I don't have drums. Mm. And I can't roll on them. Right, mm. how's that? I do, and I can. Eh... Uh, I don't know what it means. Learn if Runestad is a slash was working on teleportations. What? Right. Okay. So I think what you mean is... Uh, Sorry, teleports. That's okay. No, that's okay. So learn if Runestad uh, is, was, I'm um, working on similar portal research. Yeah, word games. Portal research um, to Starling. Is is that similar yeah. enough, or do you want to change it? No, no, that's that's. It. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Take cool. I. Uh, yeah. Uh, while we're here, though, just for the exercise, does anyone else have any other potential suggestions for Alvin that he could be doing? Uh, because there's nothing wrong with him having a couple in his uh, backlog, right? Um, so obviously Thea suggested one. Does anybody else have any other suggestions for we Alvin? Perhaps don't get through a day without killing a student? Um, so I was going to say he could learn to dance to entertain us at night, but that's a ten. <laughs> Proficiency dancing could be earned, but... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I feel like this is like the dancing bear problems. So, like, mm. yeah. It might, might turn into a red card situation. Yeah, that's mm. true. It's an X card, but okay. <laughs> X card. Red yeah. card, X card. Red card might red be a different card. thing. Cards. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a whole select. A whole. Uh, you know what? We might need the whole deck. Um, yeah. You mean oh, the yeah, whole that alphabet? might be a red card situation then. Um, so, yeah. And it, I feel like if there's no other suggestions then. We'll move on. Mm. As I said, I want to deal with bonds at the end. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. As I said, I would rather those were only edited at the end of a session also. Yeah, um, sorry. It's okay. Mr. GM. And, me. Uh, this is very, very true, Alexander. I nope. All, all of our cards broken. 
Um, I have all the cards. I have more cards than I should have. <laughs> you have I have decks. more. I don't have. I don't have all the cards that you're supposed to have, but I have more cards than is in a deck. So you got the what? biggest card. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so confused. He's got the biggest useless <laughs> deck. That's what you're saying. That's that's, that's all right. Yeah, biggest moving, phrasing. Moving, deck. moving on, because what the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Where even do you start with that, right? Um, yeah, so, in the game, in the world we're in, you are then, obviously, presented with all of the, you know, weird-looking big metal men um, that surround the party, and you are then essentially restrained in ways that make it safe to travel through the sky. Sky. So you're Sky. basically tied to the big metal men. Oh yeah. Have they taken our weapons off us? No. They they have just okay. went to you and like tied you in a way that means you won't fall off them when they fly. Um yeah. my mind they've just like lassoed us and gone off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unlike that, yes. Nets may have been involved. Um, Let's need an elephant and a turtle and a rat. <laughs> I mean, is it bad that I'm just like singing Defying Gravity in my head right now? Uh, no. Uh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good musical. Um, mm. But yes, the. Yeah, I guess we'll. These are then flown over and up into, towards and such, approaching the mountain. Um, and then as these are flying. Just out of yeah. Sorry, just, just out of just, interest, how do they fly? Is it wings? Rockets? Is it... Yeah. Do you want to maybe try and give me a... A wee perception maybe? Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. We'll see if you can indeed. have a nosy at that while you're being uh, carted through the air. I was going to ask if I could do the same as well. Well, do you want to give me a wee arcana? Arcana? Yeah. Uh, perception. Skittish. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's no wings on them, and you can't see any visible means of flight beyond glowy magical runes. And Alvin, Magnets. you see glowy magical runes surrounding them that clearly seem to be interacting with each other when the things kick off the ground to fly. Yes, they believe they can fly. Um, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Why is everything a cartoon? So, yeah. Do you we can... get a chance to have a rest? No. Okay. No, does this class as a short rest? It does not class. Being apprehended is not a short rest. You well, can just not... like technically do it in. <laughs> Leaning uh, against their metal bodies and falling asleep. No. No, stop trying to make it sound comforting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so these are flown over the, the mountains. It's probably like it's quite cold the higher up you go as well. These things just kind of mm -hmm. boost straight up and then like dive back down. Everybody probably gets those horrible vomiting butterflies in their stomach, right? As they're, they're landing. Yeah, see, I'm on the fence with it personally. Every time on the fence, like, oh, this is great and also awful. But anyway. <laughs> That's if, why I love it. <laughs> and then, yeah, every day you just get taken to do I have a transition for this? I probably do dun 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 you just go over the mountainside and nestled under what looks like a nice bit of almost heat mirage boom Ooh. that is nice boom. why does it audibly say that? Also, if everybody can stop beeping that, because every notification is a beep in my ears at the moment, and I don't know beep. how to turn it off instantaneously. So, yeah. the joys. But, uh, yeah. yeah that's so, yeah. And then use land at the foot of all those what clearly look like potential stairs. So, like, use, get, like, oh, why did that not let me use the tool? Use land, like, somewhere down here. They're not going to drop off at the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's just wow. wow. 
No, because he's land inside a courtyard of a building at the foot Earth. of like the the okay. big ramp up. Uh, it's almost like Where a big garden. Where was that garden. again? It didn't show on my screen. It's okay. So listen to the words. You'll hear it. And uh, yeah, so at the foot of the big ramp, there's a big gatehouse with a big courtyard and a dark, dark stair with a dark, dark door. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, you are deposited there and then you are all just escorted to a holding cell as a group. The same one, yeah. Yeah, one big cell. Um, Do we still have our stuff? Yeah. Um, yeah. These have been put inside, and then one of the uh, kind of smaller, you know, metal men, uh, again, that voice okay. kind of projects out again, and it says, You will be seen to shortly. Please remain calm. And then runes appear where bars would be. <laughs> Rune mm -hmm. stats. I'll I'll just be like, how are you getting these to work? And I'll just like keep like, is it like? See when you say sorry, when runes appear, is it like, like in the shape of bars, or is it just like making an energy that stops us from going through? Eh, uh, I mean, I feel like you could try and touch it if you wanted. Yeah, so I'll just, be, touch it. I'll just be like, how is the, how are these working? I've never seen this before. And I'll just like stick my hand out to touch it. Yeah, and when you touch it, it's a bit like the way plasma globes work, where they react to where you're touching. So it runes appear in the form, presenting resistance to where your hand is. Does it hurt? Uh, no. No. I can so, see uh, I, I just feel like, this is amazing. <laughs> I just feel like, this is amazing. And I'll just keep like pulling my hand back and touching it and pull my hand back and touch it like in different places all over. I was like, yeah. seriously, how, 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 how have you got this working? And I'll just, that would just be me. And then the camera pans over and Flea Bite's licking it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does so, it taste like there's anything warp stone involved? Uh, <laughs> can I taste the warp? Why don't you roll perception? The the least rolled perception taste relation. I, your GM is unsure. Having not known what the warp <laughs> tastes like, yeah. <laughs> there is a who could see, you know, it tastes a bit like static, you know. So if warp <laughs> tastes That's like good. static. I think, yeah, maybe, I don't know, Fleabite probably isn't familiar with Fizz, right? But it's possibly more like Fizz than anything else. So, yeah. Carbonated drinks haven't hit this world yet, you know. <laughs> I mean, beer's carbonated. I mean, not in this world. Done. Yeah, beer's broken. <laughs> um, you broke beer, I hope you're happy. Yeah. Very Some happy. nice flat APA or something. So... Yeah, what do you do? Besides so those two, this is yeah. happening, the, the wee boy's with us, isn't he? No. Ah, where's the so, kid somewhere else? Yes, maybe this is just you now noticing. So you look around, and yeah, the kid isn't with you guys. <gasps> where is really? Snake Snake gone? I think uh, like you do, we just sort of like yawn and lie down, stare at the ceiling. I like that you just don't respond to flea bites, like. Hunt for human flesh. <laughs> it's possibly for the best. Yeah, yeah the it's one of those we choose to ignore it. It's not going to be a problem later, right? Not at all. You sleep <laughs> next to this guy? Like... Hey, I'm not human, so we're good. Yeah, but you're also not a cannibal, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not human either. Yeah, okay. So that's that's, that's the rules, is it? Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I am very much also a cannibal, but, you know. <laughs> We don't know that yet. <laughs> well, we've known him for a year. We don't realise he eats people. Uh, two, almost. Uh, him. Two years. Oh, God. That, that's true. You've never seen me eat a, eat another Skaven. So yeah. Yeah. So Playbite's licking the wall. Alvin's like playing the rune keyboard ah. on the wall. Um, playing patty cake with the wall. <laughs> yeah. At least he's not blowing things up, which is useful. True. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what is everybody else doing in this moment? So, Adair, you said you, were, you looked around, you noticed the, the kid's gone? Mm-hmm. Are there any guards outside this force field thing? Uh, none you can see. Right. 
Um, in that case, I'm just going to wait and see who we get introduced to. Sure, yeah. Uh, then we will move to Lyra. You said you were going to just sit down and chill? Yeah, I think that after a minute of just sort of like staring at the ceiling, I think I'd sit up and uh, say, uh, Thea, and wait for a reply. Okay. Um, I think as like Lyra was like lying down, I think Thea was... Um, I think she put on her um, expressionless mask and just like kind of sat. And then when um, Lyuda said Thea, she just kind of turned to look at Lyuda. Okay. Um, I'm I'm sorry that you that you left your mask back there. It was uh, one of my most favorite ones of yours. I think she would turn to face forward again and. Um, she would just say, It never really went with my eyes. Maybe we'll find a chance to uh, make a new one, or maybe even go back and retrieve that one. If it pleases you. If it pleases me. Hmm. I think she would kind of like, kind of play with the, the word pleases. Like, kind of silently, just kind of seeing how it, like, kind of works, like, in her mouth, kind of, the, just, yeah, just kind of mouthing the word and kind of seeing how it, it feels and just, just that weird stuff that, that you probably wouldn't see anyway, but, hey. Sure, I'll leave you to your... Self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And is Cognac with us? Uh, yes, but narratively, not here, so... Yes. It's just in case he was taken away with the child. No, no. He is he is here, just narratively excused. Yes. Yes. Yep. yes. Oh, that's cool. As long as I know. Hmm. There's some pretty runes for you. Yay! Uh, yeah. So, nothing else? Mm, no, we might as well wait and see what happens. Uh, we do have the letter. Who has the letter from that uh, council person? I not person? have it. Did I not? Yep, letter from a debt. No. Nope. So that's a different so letter. There is a timeline discrepancy that those clever folks at home may or may not have noticed. Um, mm. And if you didn't, well, here's the spoiler now. I just never fix it because I didn't have to until now. Um, but Alvin stole the letter. Uh, and ran off into the shops that Adair used to get on the ship with the guards, but because it was dumb that Alvin stole the letter, I just never fixed that part until now. Um, ah. Because, you know, I needed them to get on the boat without that being an incident that took longer. So, that is a thing. So, now I've shattered the reality of this game for you guys. No! And the illusion is gone. Immersion! And it, 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 Adair probably has that specific letter that is required. Um, yeah, so mother... Perhaps there was a... Perhaps it was two pages and Alvin ran off with one page and Adair was left going, but you didn't take the rest of the... Never mind. <laughs> he took the cover letter. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think that's... Yeah. Between you and Alvin, you have the full document uh, cool. which is handy these are both together now right weirdly convenient um, mm. yes. Alvin give me back that letter you took I'll just be like like still focused on this wall just like and I just be like yeah yeah like one hand just casually like rummaging about in my bag and then like just like uh, I, like pull, pull, pull I, out a sort- paper Pull As he rummages page. around, I would sort of lean back because I've seen what happens when he rummages around carelessly. <laughs> there are no and students it, here to die, it's fine. <laughs> and it's like, that kind of way, like, I'm pulling bits of paper out of my bag, I'm like, uh, nope, not that one, nope, not that. Uh, oh, there it is, and I'll just, like, throw it back at him. And then, you know, still just kind of tapping away at this wall. Thank you. As he picks it, I will pick it up and sort of get the creases out and Treat it better than it was, mm-hmm. and then yeah. put it back with its other copy, so we have the complete letter from the councillor. Yeah, I do you remember her name. I will as soon as I open the Google Documents again. 
Counselor uh, Vestil Hamel. No, Hamel. I tried. <laughs> hey, between the two of you, he's got it. Vestil Hamelisha. Yeah. Not uh, Zedraco. Not Zedraco. Elf thing. <laughs> yes, uh, elf thing. Uh, um, I think Blue Wind thing is still my favourite flea bitism. Um, <laughs> do we just call them flea bits? I guess. Uh, him. Since uh, I feel like that those are just flea bits, uh, him. But yeah, so you've got the the letter clated and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess time just starts to pass unless other MDs get anything specific they want to do. Because yeah, I would definitely like to non in a non. This is a non-aggressive way, but I would be cleaning the uh, chud blood off of my sword. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to take a short rest. Right? I there's, was just going to say I would, there's like, enough I would time. take this opportunity to rest. No. Cool. Before we all dive into how short rests work and who wants to do what, <laughs> let's do this in some kind of semblance of an order. So let's start with Thea. Um, so, short resting. What do you like? What would you need to do? This isn't me asking you in general, I just mean what, how damaged and or broken and or recovery mechanic are you? So. Okay. I'm not. I'm not too um, broken. I'm like, health-wise, I'm fine. So you don't want to spend yeah. any of your hit days? No, no. I just want my spell slots back. Cool. You get them because you are a warlock. Because I am broken. That's because <laughs> warlocks are bullshit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. But you don't I want to heal. No. I mean, sure. He says. I mean, I'll take the heal. I mean. The reason for this would be, what else are they for, right? Why are you hoarding three of them? Because I'm a hoarder. You get them back on long rest as well. So. You get half of them back on a long rest. Not all of them, sadly. Is that half rounded up? Yeah. No. Oh, no, half, half rounded, rounded down. Yep. But you also get like minimum one. So there is a minimum one condition on that. So, if you have three, three, you will get one back on a long rest, which means there's literally no reason not to heal now. Okay, well then Especially I since you're, you've got a D8 plus one from your con score. So, how many points shy of full health are you? Uh, what, about six, seven? Six. Six. So, it's really up to you if you think that's worth it. Ah, why not? So, click on... Hit dice. Maru. There you go. You get three back. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you get anything else back on a short rest? Um. This is, by the way, guys, it's a very clever my... way of a GM making sure you'll have enough time to learn what you get back on a short rest. <laughs> um. um nope. My healing stuff is a long rest. Uh, cool. If that's the case, I shall move on and you can peruse more. Uh, right. Lauda. Uh, so, Wild Shape, which is a short rest. Is it? That's awesome. I thought Wild Shape yeah, was long rest for some wow. reason. Druids are broken. I, I've <laughs> always known that. Um, yeah. I won't link it in chat because it's about a mile long. But yeah, Why not? Just do it anyway, agree. right? Somebody okay. might want to read it. <laughs> but but it is a mile <laughs> long. Like, dear oh, gods, wow. Wild Shape is one of the longest pieces of text. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, wow. Short or long rest. Yeah. So broken. But then, druids, right? Um, How does spell sorts work for druids? You tell me. You meant to know this, buddy. You're You're the druid. Yeah. I know the answer, but you're the druid. Hold on, I'll just get my PHP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll move really on. Loudly it's okay. No, me. I'll move on. Flea bite. Um, I think I get my spell slots back. You are indeed a warlock, yes. And I get my Fury of the Small Black back, which I thought was long, but it's long or short. That's nice. Perfect. Nice. Um, and so can I spend do I get a modifier for my constitution as well? Uh, yeah, it will be factored into your hit dice roll. So if you want to heal, and you can heal hit dice per hit dice, right? So uh, the way they work is you've got three of them. They're next to your death saves. 
the yep. size is a d8 and it includes your con mod as well and that's how much hit points you could potentially get back by it's like your kind of ability to shrug off damage in between being beaten up so i think i'll spend two you don't need to tell me straight away you can spend one and decide after that i see right you can yeah. do it so i'll spend one yeah. and <laughs> yeah so click hit dice yeah, so just click three. it yep cool and then that's you on what 16 now yeah, yeah. i think i will spend a second cool 23 total right and uh, that is correct yes happy there or going uh, for more do i lose my temporary hit points then? uh yeah they're they're gone after like the fight right they never stay cool. i happy on 23 Going for more? Yeah. No, I'll just keep it 23. Cool. I also see if you're doing. Callum, do you want to elaborate more on this? What? Why is this posted? Uh, uh yeah, no. Um, I was just, I was just wondering because it said um on a long or a short rest. It's because you can take either or, but not both technically at the same time. Okay, but like if something doesn't or does like do they all say that um, so something might only be long rest something might be only yeah. short rest right but technically if it's short rest it should always say short or long rest because the rest part yeah that's what i was going to um, yeah also if that's the bit that i was wondering yeah, yeah it is it's um so i feel i took a long rest i'd get everything i get back on a short and long rest mm -hmm. right because it's why when just to do a further aside, in your game, the short rest was irrelevant after the fight because you were going to give us long resting days anyway. Mm. So there's no point unless you're likely to still be in peril, right? Yes. You just don't know what situation you're in, so I'll always try and flavor it to the tone of the situation, which means you might still get a long rest. But mm. I'm not going to let you use metagame that if I'm making you take a short rest or suggesting you take one user likely to get into a fight, it's just that the tone of the music, as it were, isn't exactly user safe. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Whereas yep. you might then also just be left for like another six or eight or ten hours, right? You just, you just don't know. And then you just would hit a long rest at that point. But that's why you just need to make the judgement call on hit dice when you spend them. The, uh -huh. ri the risk is, do you want to be in a better condition for a potential fight or not, right? But like waking up and thinking, do I cast Major Armor today or do I hold off and see what happens? Um... Yes, I do. <laughs> I cast Major Armor. <laughs> uh, well, I think yours is still on, right? Because it's not been eight sure. hours, so you're probably still shimmering. Um... Can I recast it just so that it's definitely going for the next eight hours? <laughs> sure, yeah, why not? What does that look like when you cast it? Um, Probably like I have give a really good scratch and then just my... the sort of black um, cloak reappears over my, my body. It's weird that I see the kind of endgame red skull vibes of cloak, that slightly creepy ethereal yeah, to it. Yeah, that's probably about right. Um, or I guess the mentor was a good enough one, right? Like, that was, I guess... Can, can the ethereal armour get... or can, it, can the mage armour get dirty? I mean, why not, right? Why? So it would probably very quickly get some mud and just like filth on it. Like I said, never a question I've ever been asked before, but I don't actually see why it couldn't, right? So, yeah. Um, but yes, uh, cool. Lyra, have you learned how your magic works yet? Yeah, I don't get anything. Cool. Uh, but you got wild shape, so that's not that's not true. Are you damaged? Are you going to try and heal? I am full health. Okay, good man or elephant. Uh, we've done flea bite I Alvin. Uh yeah, so I'm currently sitting on five HP, so I shall do some hit dice. Um I should be correct for what I need. Just double checking the roll again. Um da -da 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 -da. Yeah, they should be uh thingy. 
uh, D8. There is a button for it. No, but he's used to the game where all the sheets are broken. And uh, they all, yeah, they all yeah, revert yeah, to D4. Yeah, I'm just wanting to check. It's also I, I, handy to know just the details of the class you play, just FYI, yeah. in case this stuff messes up. Okay, one, yeah, definitely as a 1D8. Um, okay, so I've got three hit dice, so just make sure advantage isn't on. Just do them one, one at a time, buddy. One. That's one, two, three, four, five. Two. Um. Um. Fuck it. And that's me up full. Cool. See, see if I'd got those first, the last two first, that would have been great. But <laughs> that's how it works, oh, buddy. Crap. <laughs> yep. So that's me up full. I'm all rested, and yeah. Boom. Did you get anything else back on a short rest? No. Uh, most of my stuff comes back on long rests. No worries. No worries. A deer. Um. Well, I did lose a whole point. But I think we're gonna hold off. It's gonna hold hold on to that, like just cheekily yeah. flex and heal it back now. Um, yep. Just one of those moments of sit there just being like, oh, I still can't believe I lost a point. It was my own fault. <laughs> Stop thinking in meta. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, I guess um everybody takes some chill out time. Uh, any conversations spark up during the like hour and a bit? I would suggest we maybe discuss about what we're going to say to these people. I mean, we've got our letter ready, but do we all try and talk? Do we nominate Lyoda to take lead? Why me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Can I, you're I, likable. I'm not a tall charismatic. <laughs> I am. Statistically. Mm, the, the, yes, the <laughs> chaos. I talk, talk. I do the best words. <laughs> Thank Levi. Well, I do, but... there's, there's some dirt in the corner there. You might want to put that on your armor. I agree with the rodent. Statistically. <laughs> Statistically. Lyuda would just sort of have faith that the letter is going to be enough because we have right intentions and everybody's going to completely believe us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, Alvin, <laughs> your thoughts as he's continuing to play with the force field? Yeah, so as he's kind of said that, I'm still just like ping, ping, ping. Like, I've got to the point where I'm now like, hmm, let's see how other things will react. So, I'm maybe like pinging stones off it and things like that just to see what will happen. Do you have stones? Uh, oh, well, that's a good point. Is there like stones on the floor? Nope. Stone, okay. Stone, the place is immaculate clean. Mm. Oh, well, I, then, uh, I assume the dirt was from flea bite that he put on his uh, cloak, quite frankly. Right, right. So I've just been, uh, I've missed kind of straight where the dirt came from then. Uh, yeah, so I'll just kind of keep like slapping away and I'll be like, what? Opin opinion on what? What? And then I'll just like thing. stay. Would you like stone stone? <laughs> then, sorry. Uh, I'll just like sit and stare at a dare, like, yep, yeah, what? You asked something? What? Opinion. You know, the more you try and force or play with that shield, they might take it as an aggressive uh, procedure. Just, just to give you the warning. No, I'm just, I'm just wanting to know how it works. Like, that, that, it's not very often I've had the chance to see runes, especially working this way. You mean ones that actually work? Yeah, exactly. Like what? Like. Uh, Flea bite, yeah. Give us, give us some stones. You got stones. Blue wind. Thing. Do you think you can throw stone, stone farther than flea bite? I want to throw a stone. I want to throw a stone. And I'm just kind of like, like, jumping up at flea bite, trying to catch like stones out of his hand. I mean, you do the so same height. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not jumping for a height advantage. I'm jumping from excitement. Mm -hmm. Thing. Wager bet. What was that, sorry, man? Blue wind thing. Throw um, stone. Who goes fast, uh, furthest? Win-win. 
Oh. And I just pass um, uh, Tink oh, one stone. Just I just give him one to get him up. It's like as soon as you like you pass me, I let like turn around and it's like yeet boom and like throw it as hard as I can against it. Cool. Do a do a check. Do a throw. Uh, what would that be? So D twenty plus dexterity and I doubt you're proficient in lobbing stones, so <laughs> I could be wrong there, but I'm gonna assume you're not. So and uh, be twenty plus proficiency. What? No, I said no, sorry. specifically not proficiency. I said sorry. Dexterity. D twenty plus dexterity. So, so you could just click your dexterity if you don't have anything else, say, proficiency wise. Yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, no, <laughs> you miss the wall. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll, okay, um, how this is how this is played out in my head. The difficulty uh, was ten, by the way, to hit a non-moving object. Ten. Wow, I am amazing. Um, I will quickly say, good throw, Alvin. Mm. Good throw. You should have thrown yeah. it over your shoulder. <laughs> Terrible throw. <laughs> so how how it played out in my head is I've still kind of been like jumping up and down. You've passed me the stone, and as I've thrown it, I've kind of like realized i'm still up in the air and i've just kind of like face planted and like just end up throwing it against the ground instead and i'd be like land in there and like did it hit i would quietly say to uh Lyoda and uh thea you know this makes sense with the gravity bomb what just happened there hmm. <laughs> i'm just gonna roll my eyes they scream <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just kind of stand up and brush myself off and look for the stone again. It's just next to you, buddy. I, I think Thea would smile at that. Not that anyone can see, but she would smile. Mm -hmm. Rare blue wind thing. I throw further than you, you. Blue what thing? Major pet. I throw further than you. Yes, yes. Um... No. You think you are worse than Steven? Yes, yes. Um, uh, well, we were having a conversation about what we might be doing in a moment. I, I feel throwing a stone is below me. <laughs> Looks at the gnome below you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even paying attention at this point. I'm back to the chucking stones at this wall. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm right up close now, so I'm just like pinging it off of it. Uh, you're not. Levite. No? Levite. Okay, Keep an not. eye on Alvin, please. Brewing <laughs> <laughs> thing. Terrible throw. Can't even throw it. Wall wall. No. As bad as little um, half man thing. What would be the point? Stephen, best, best. Blue wind thing. Per bad, bad. Mm. It's a tempting offer, but I feel we should come up with a plan and not play games. Alright, Alvin, now you can get up and try again if you want. Yeah, so back up on my wee feet and uh, yeah, just have an adder at the wall with the uh, poop chew. So yeah, I'm just like standing nice and close to it and just like chucking the stone at it. Cool. Go for it. And do, 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 do. Boom! Cool. You throw it and it hits straight into the wall and it doesn't move. I'll just go like, hmm, now this is interesting. And I'll just kind of like run up to the wall and just be like looking at it trying to like work out why it's like floating yeah it seems like it's in the wall hmm alvin are you able to push that all the way through i just like 
reach my finger up to it and just kind of like poke at it. Uh, a rune appears and you get the same sensation, like you're definitely not touching the stone. Hmm. And they're like, no, I can't. And then like, I just kind of keep like, like, you know how like when you turn a light switch on like off and on really fast, that kind of thing with my finger, I'm just like bringing it back and forward, like, like, da, 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 like trying to like push at it. You can, um, you see the stone break up and vanish. I just kind of stop. <laughs> and then I'm like looking at it, I'm like, hmm, this is unexpected. Fleabite, I mar think... mark off a stone permanently. I did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, is that an actual item for you? <laughs> is my um, is ammo. He has my ammo for my sling. <laughs> oh, crap, so it would be. <laughs> Yes, uh, I will expect gravity bomb in exchange. Yes, yes. <laughs> that plus slingshot equals doom. <laughs> That's good teamwork. Um. Yeah, I think um, Theo would stand up, um, summon her axe, and just swing at the the ball. I would uh, stand up. Uh, cast Shillelagh on my nope. porter's dart. Let's, uh, let's do this in turn, shall we? Um, okay. Yeah. Dia. Roll initiative. Do you want me to? Do you want me to post the the? No, I just need you to do blade the thing or attack it. Does oh, the boom. wall have initiative? You miss. I miss. I think maybe um, as she's like summing it, she like s starts to swing to kind of make it look so it like materializes as she's swinging, but she mistimes it and she like goes past it and then it materializes and she just stands there for a moment blinks mm. and then sits down i would quickly raise my hands gentlemen and lady i think does anyone have an inanimate object we're happy to throw at the wall every year looks it disappears i, I was sleep <laughs> <laughs> would like I was to cast say we could push, if cognac's in his shell we could just push cognac <laughs> <laughs> no, because what hey. happened to the stone? Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, this shell's harder than stone. Can I get up now? Uh, yes, you can get up now after a... Okay. That right after happened. Thea tries to attack the, the wall with her weapon, I'm going to get up, cast Shillelagh on my quarterstaff, and try and attack the wall as well. Cool. Yep. So you get up, you cast Shillelagh, and then Fleabite, you want to do your attack of Illich Blast now? And then we'll come back around for Lauda's attack roll. Oh my god, the one time! <laughs> <laughs> yep, done zero damage. Cool, take that damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the blast screams out of your hand, uh, hits into the, the runic wall, the runes rotate around where the blast is and on the wall behind you your rune opens up and the blast hits you. Mm. Can I just run under just... like um uh uh cognac and just like hide underneath it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lyoda would stop mid swing and not attack the wall. Oh no! You said, you said you wanted to attack the wall, buddy. Let's let's have that attack roll, shall we? Uh, Why did no one listen? You hit the wall. Twenty damage. <laughs> you know what comes next, don't you? I'm, I'm I'm against the wall. It's a melee weapon. How can it go through the wall and back on the other side? So you now have a choice, right? <laughs> you swing at the wall, mm -hmm. the attack connects, and your like your wrist immediately shunts because all the inertia is gone. Right? Okay. Uh, you can let go of your quarterstaff, or you can choose to try and pull it back out. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> you decide what you want to do, and I will tell you what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. Cool. It's slowly pulled in to the field. Mm. And there oh. it floats, suspended. And but it's not disappearing. The stone took a while. Oh, it did. Mm -hmm. I remember it's I was cool. prodding that thing for a good wee bit. You know, it's a shame you lost your stick. I was quite fond of that one. So it's still in the wall just now. And then uh, later you, you can see the, the shillelagh kind of magic peel away from it. I uh, Inside the wall. And then slowly the thing disintegrates and vanishes. Can Thea say that after that? Just so it's... Why not say it now for extra dickishness? Okay. Yeah, uh, what did you say? Um, oh yeah, it's a shame you lost your stick. I was quite fond of that one. <laughs> was it a sentimental stick? No. Thea's very happy that everyone's just started calling it a stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I think we've established not to try and do that to the magic things. The downside was that was like your druidic focus, I believe. So. No, my staff is my druidic focus. Yeah, that is your staff. You yeah, cast Chilele. Nope. It's one what? and the same. We discussed this. Did we? Yeah, we did. Well, if I'd known that, I would have held on to it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's one in the same, buddy. One in the same. What the fuck? Yeah. You just lost your main weapon, didn't you? I just lost all my weapons. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. lost everything. Oh, that makes that makes Thea's comment a huge I, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you use your staff in that last encounter? His staff is what let him cast. Shillelagh. He needs a mm -hmm. thing to cast Shillelagh onto, which is his staff. He couldn't have cast that while wielding a shield if that wasn't his druidic mm -hmm. focus. All of this was covered previously. Thus, his staff that he cast Shillelagh on is his druidic focus. And it just get eaten by the wall. But anything no. that doesn't have an M component to the VSM quality of spells, you can still cast. and let, Or you could try mm. and look for the M parts on other people. Does the can you can you make a new druidic focus? Like if you go, ah, I need to fashion a new staff, and you get a staff, and then you sit with it for four days, and I don't know. is that a thing that happens? I've never lost a druidic focus. <laughs> no druid has ever lost their druid. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, Lyoda just now sits in the corner crying for the rest Can't of the do game. Anything for the rest of the game. What was it the uh, the attendant said to you guys as well? Remain calm. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I tried. <laughs> I'm just trying to be friends with Thea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't make friends with salad, as I've heard a uh, wise old sage say. You don't make friends with salad. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a red panda and curl up in the corner and cry. Uh, Can you do that without your staff? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't cross components, so yes, yes, it can. Oh, okay, that would be horrible. Um, but yeah, mark off a wild shape, just then, and we'll have you as a red panda in the corner. Yeah, maybe also behind Cognac. <laughs> um, I think it'd be in a different corner. Yeah, maybe away from flea bite is beneficial. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is anyone else gonna try anything spectacular? Um. No. I I'd just kind of be like standing back at this point and just being like, hmm. Things break when they go in the wall. Okay. I don't want to go in the wall. Hmm. 
<laughs> and just like kind of pondering everything that I've been seeing so far. It explains why they didn't take our weapons away. Mm -hmm. This is when you realize that the rest of the walls are made of like cardboard. Because nobody's bothered <laughs> to, to even <laughs> test. <laughs> Like, I love that. <laughs> like, actually, if you lean on the wall, you just go right through it. <laughs> hey guys, there's an open door over here. We could have just. <laughs> oh it's my a... god, it's, they're going to be you know those Chinese sliding doors, you uh, know the Japanese sliding doors. I was, doors, I was thinking more the um, the Doctor Who special. The it's supposed to be locked line when they just open the door they're locked in because um, they overthink it. Amazing. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, kind of wish they were cardboard walls now, but they're not. So here we are. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming you said it was a nice cell. Is it like stone walls? Is it? Yeah, it's like black stone. Yeah. Is there a window? Cherry? There? Nope. No way. Uh, oh. No cherries. No. No windows. Is it light? Uh, yes. Like strangely, that the place is lit inside. Yes. And I don't mean super hype and cool. I just mean oh, man. well lit. The lighting is sufficient. Yes. But uh, is there any sources, obvious sources of light? There are, there are no obvious sources of light, no. Apart from my shine and personality. And, and maybe the big rune wall as well. Besides that too. And the Eldritch Blaster. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Besides, besides that, yeah. And all the magic yous have been casting. <laughs> Yeah, besides all that, I'm amazed yes. a guard hasn't come past just to laugh at us. Right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess another hour passes, right? Aim to do anything in the next hour? I turn back into an elephant. Yep. Foom, foom. That's frustrating as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, gentlemen, uh, for the meeting, um, we're just going to blag it when we get there. You're assuming we're going to get a meeting? Well, they did say they'd come and get us. They did say that, yes. Two hours ago. So yet, where are they? Mm. Maybe they're too busy watching us destroy our own weapons. I glare at you. <laughs> That's the trick to the cell, though, right? Why would they need to de-arm you when you're de-arming your cell? No. Your cell. <laughs> well, I guess uh... Thea probably puts her axe away at some point. Yeah. You just kind of lay down and stared into the ceiling. I mean, remember, we're not here for aggression. We were sent here to... Oh god, why were we sent here? I remember, I, can I just point out, <laughs> I was never being aggressive to the wall. It was you the guys that decided to attack it. I was just... Uh, you what you threw done. stones at the wall, or at least tried to. Yeah, wall hurt me. Yeah, a, wall, <laughs> yeah, a little pebble. Not a bloody... <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Fleabite's you version started of the event was gr great there. The wall hurt Fleabite. That is how Fleabite remembers that interaction. Amazing. <laughs> <Entirely>. <laughs> Underneath Cognac. <laughs> yep, the only noise from Cognac is Fleabite. Um, yeah, uh, anything else come up in the conversation? Because I think, yeah, Adair, maybe you need to remind yourself why you're here. Yeah, um, I, for the love of God, can't remember and I don't have my notes here. Um, we were sent to find out if this area, no, we weren't sure if this area was being affected by the invaders, but we kind of have an answer to that. Um, Does Emda remember why you were sent here? Um, BRB, I'm going to go listen to session one. <laughs> <laughs> why are we here? I, We've been sent uh, No wait, to session two, that. session two! We, we had to make contact with the leadership. Yeah, because mm -hmm. did they not send a message saying that yeah, we had to send mm. someone. No. So, in session three, I believe it was. Um, mm. Three, yeah. Yeah, session three because yeah. one and two was combat, uh, and mm. the return. It was like the pilot episode, if you will. Uh, so session three, you were summoned by the Steel Hamilisha to obviously meet in the council chambers. You got there, and she said that the leader I, of Runestad had been in touch with some important information that he deemed too sensitive to send magically. Mm. Oh, I remember that. Because was, other people could be there. listening 
and it would be important to send somebody and use for the somebody. And we have the letter to prove that we were sent by her so as he can tell us the information and we can then take it with us to yeah. So exactly. we're not in danger. We we are yeah, we're fine. Yeah. We're just... meant to be here. Yeah. And in we theory trespassing, we were invited. In theory you're also expected, right? True. That's why they left us with our weapons, but also they don't know us, so I totally get why they put us in a safe space. Nah, they mean there will hurt us. Plus, I'm here. <laughs> and Alvin. <laughs> um, There's a difference between a reception and a jail cell. True. Would you have hit the receptionist as well with your shillelagh? No. <laughs> I might have hit her with a rock. Just Maybe the elder sponsor. <laughs> See, this is why he's put in cells. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think we, we now realise why we're here. Yeah. So, do you want to maybe have that conversation or the attempt at conversation then with the group again? So, gentlemen and lady, we have the letter to prove we're here. we must find out this information <laughs> that he deemed unworthy. <laughs> Sorry, um, Levite, our I I don't know what sex you are because I haven't looked and I'm not going to. It's valid. Uh, but yes, we are here to get the information and take it back with us. And if we can get one of those robot guys to fly us majority of the way there or back to the boat, that'll save us so much time. Just saying. <laughs> Definitely skipping over the phrase robot guys, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine to skip over that though, don't worry. So the armored ruined guys. Mm -hmm. The oh, armor runes. The armor runes. The armor runes. The armor runes. It's like somebody really badly saying Royal Marines, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I like how I'm naming stuff. Yep. This is a bad idea. The armor runes. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, if we can get the armor runes to fly us back to the ship where eventually Thea will get us back. Uh, yeah, I think that's the plan, if you guys are cool with that. You're in the wrong chat there, Scott, but yeah, okay. Oh, what was that? What one was that? <laughs> Whoopsie! Oh no, Scotty's saying something bad about someone. It's me! <laughs> so, what's everybody's thoughts yep. on what idea comes up with? What you do we just sigh? They're like, oh, guess, guess we just need to keep waiting. Which means we need more time must pay with for the wall. Sorry, Mamo. What did you say there? No, just me. <laughs> I'm not catching what Fleabite's saying. <laughs> Construct things must pay for wall hurt pain. Ah, but yes. It, it, it wasn't the wall hurt. They didn't cause the wall hurt pain. Wall attacked free bite. Um, you attacked the wall. Unrelated breathing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I mean, to be fair, the, the wall defended itself like flea bite would. Why wall hurt flea bite? Why would flea bite hurt wall? Wall trapped flea bite. Flea bite's not trapped. Flea bite is waiting. Flea bite is trapped. He's waiting. <laughs> I think we, uh, the the air would lean into flea bite and just say. Lighter <laughs> 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 nods and says, "Definitely trapped." Yeah, I just <laughs> starts like scratching at the floor to like dig my way in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> While Fleabite's scratching away at the floor, um, what's everybody else up to? Chilling, waiting. I lie back down, stare at the ceiling. How many more staff. hours till we get a long way? Yeah. <laughs> like an hour seven? Uh, 
Um, is there anything up, or is it just like a, a stone, just like wall, uh, ceiling? Ceilings? Think it, think of it like a microwave. There's your vision. Okay, it's like a microwave. Yeah, yeah. cool. Only without the. I know I'm being part. cooked from the inside. I mean, if flea light keeps casting at the wall, you might be. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh. focused on digging now. It's fine. Maybe I dig with Eldritch Blast. <laughs> 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 Ryan, is there any way I could have, like, from what we've been doing and stuff, is there any way I could have worked out, like, how this gate is working the way it does? Drop a gravity bomb on it. Please don't. <laughs> Not when we're Hard in this. <laughs> how big's the cell? So, we die. So, it's probably about maybe five squares long by three deep, right? And maybe three tall. Big enough. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's quite a, quite a chunky we'll... microwave. Um, I'll huddle in the corner while he does his thing. But, yeah, like, what is it you... What are you trying to do? Just, like, stare at the wall and roll arcana? Is that what you're trying to do? Because <laughs> what, what, what's new? What's changed? What can you, what can you well, attempt I know, Well, obviously, now that I know that it's there's a force field involved from, and it's these runes that are doing it and inanimate object like get like well non-organic objects kind of get suspended in it and then destroyed and it is organic what was it my staff was organic yeah it was wood. oh yeah but it's not alive it's it supposed to be yeah fair enough Okay, well, inanimate <laughs> objects then get destroyed. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's definitely an interesting. I want to use the word technology, but that's wrong. Yeah, no, it's magic tech. technology. You can use the term technology, it just it doesn't necessarily apply to like mechanical technology, right? Um, necessarily, mm. magic tech, if you will. But yeah. really, it's it's, it's just. Magic, right? It's stuff like it is stuff similar to like what Alvin does, really, right? Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. why I'm so interested in it. Uh, yeah, it's, I it's mean, intriguing. Why don't you roll Arcana, and we'll do it with disadvantage because you have no idea really what you're you're doing, or you don't really have any actual tools necessarily that will help you with this. So just yeah. visual. Yeah, you're just literally looking at it and you've touched it for two hours. So come on, double twenty. That 18 would have been brilliant as well. I... I mean... You've never worked with shielding spells, so it's hard to say, right? Mm. You're, um... The closest Alvin can think about is Suspension Matrix, which is the... You know... Stuff you throw at people that pulls them in to your black rocks mm. that you toss at people. Um, so, I mean, as far as you can work out, there are runes that somehow make two opposed fields of gravity that apparently crush things, maybe, mm. in the middle. So it's almost like the runes are working the same way as my wee cube, metal cubey things for gravity bombs. As far as you can think, yeah. Yeah. I'll just be like, hmm. Guys, I don't think we should anger the wall anymore. I'm glad you're telling us that after two hours ago I said don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, can't tell for certain, but I'm pretty sure this uses the same kind of technology that I use when I have my gravity bombs to kind of force field things and then it's basically two different polarities pulling against each other. But yeah, we don't want to get stuck in that, so I am recommend The minute not. he says that, my oh, eyes yeah. opened wider. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like that sort of oh for God's sake, we're lucky to he's be speaking alive. gnomish again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd just be like, yeah. So let's not touch the wall. Remember, we were invited <laughs> here, gentlemen and lady and flea bite. rat. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, you start to hear footsteps outside the cell <coughs> wall. I draw my shield. 
yeah. Mm-hmm. You got some parchment? What, like on a bit of paper? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. It's, such the, lo- it's the lowest hanging fruit it's, joke it's, ever. It's it's like, it's always going to happen every time you say draw anything. <laughs> My shield. There we go. Your quip, your shield. Cool. In two seconds, I'm going to go quickly put my light on. Same. Um, I literally just did it. Mechanically, Thea is standing uh, on behind, so we have Lyuda between Thea and the wall. Not like standing right behind Lyuda, but like just if Lyuda's further forward than Thea, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Oh, right. Are you staying sure next to Cognac? Yes, but I start digging even faster. Yeah, if you want to actually have a like some kind of semblance of this, like there well, you go. He's can he's gonna have a, a a square if you want to put yourselves in it. Yay! What side's the door? Yay! So the green's the wall. Yeah. There you go. You're very tall. What do you mean? It's a top down. I guess it would be like that. Or is it top down? Okay. Of course it's top down. <laughs> what, what, what else Ryan. would it be? I don't know. That's me. What direction is the, so, uh, the footsteps coming from? Uh, right, so this is probably a good time to have drawn, like, you know, like an opposing wall, maybe? So that there's like an opposing wall. The corridor. And uh, mm. that way. So you can hear the footsteps from that way, or there? Yeah, and you were brought in that way. Okay, so we know that's kind of the main in and out. Seems to be, yeah. Seems to be where the foot traffic is. Um, cool. Alvin, where are you going to be? Because you were mucking about with the, the yeah, wall for a long time. Remember, then I backed away from it. That's why I put the okay. guy at the back. So I'm oh, just like kind of sitting, having a look at it from a distance now. I will be about there-ish. Just because I'm the one with the letter. If they ask for any identification or anything. Okay, yep. It's going to be like old man Joe, the the, the bandit, getting taken into custody. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, oh will never fire. take me alive! You have been You're apprehended running. alive and unharmed. <laughs> no! You'll never take me. Anyway. Yes. Different indeed. game. Can we, can we do that one shot? Um, yeah, sure. We'll tomorrow. do it. That's fine. Yep. Perfect. We'll get sorted in the books. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> dear gods. Uh, do you know, I was trying to look for a gif of Loki's cell from Thor 2. And you know, it's, uh, I know what you mean. it was quite difficult because that was probably an easier way to describe. Oh, Matt. Yeah. That was completely interesting. But, but yeah. Oh, well. Um, regardless of that, yeah. So you are in this. This is the kind of the rough layout, and yeah, Fleabite is the representation of both Fleabite and Cognac. Yes, in that particular example. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Something like that. Yay! Only it's the one wall that's that instead of the two he's got, because he got an end cell because he was royalty. Uh, okay. <laughs> the corner cell. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love that scene so much. It's a great movie for that particular interaction their relationship mm-hmm. and the mother is the best thing about that movie, the rest, garbage um, so yeah, footsteps appear I, somebody's on a motorbike outside and then... oh, sorry that was from me <laughs> is that just your stomach? or? <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> oh wow <laughs> it like, sounded like a turbine powering up yeah, I thought this is the person approaching Grr, oh god <laughs> yeah, grumble, 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 right <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, two of these dudes appear. Let me just zoom and enhance. Those guys again. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, uh, yes. So I'll dump their image in our chat. Forever did have a nosy. Yeah, clock, they definitely clock. don't look like a human could fit inside them. No. That could be a small humanoid. See, I used to think that humanoid. way about C three PO when I was younger. I was like, nah. I mean, but you know, mm. Anthony Daniels. I mean, you do get to see him naked, so. So. Calcifer <laughs> power. Uh, but yeah, so those guys appear, 
and then they can like walk forward, stop, like stop on the spot, pivot, um, stare at the group. They kind of look at the group as if counting you all, and then they like the robotic voice comes out and says, "You will now be escorted to Castle Runestad. Please stand back from the wall." Do you as far as up the stairs? There is like no response to any of anyone's questions. I and, stood back. <laughs> and then yeah, like the rune wall deactivates. Charge. <laughs> Does it make any kind of sound or it just just fades away. No sound. Did they just flickers do away. anything? Nope, they just stood there and stared at you guys. Hmm. It just plays Alan Walker faded. <laughs> and uh yeah, you are then escorted. They both but just walk. Just before leaving, I would ask where the child is that was with our group. Uh, they don't answer. Can Do they we might jump on the back of Cognac? Sure. That's I'm fine. fighting the urge to make myself look like one of these guys. <laughs> fighting the urge to turn into a rat and run away. <laughs> so, can we just pause here? And let everyone take a note that you have actually been user user Infected. expected, right? User yeah. official business. <laughs> and, be nicer about it. And officially, what has happened is I've got fighting the urge to mimic the guards that have put us in here for like clearly some kind of observation, despite Fleabite being attacked by a malicious wall, unprovoked. Um, yeah. For defenses, Fleabite. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just like Star most Scream? other waiting rooms are nicer. <laughs> yeah. Um, to be fair, as Thea, ex-pirate that she is, I don't know if that's true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I suppose she would actually have probably described holding cells as waiting rooms. <laughs> yeah. I. So, <laughs> so the way this works is one of them obviously stays put, and then the other one starts to walk forward, and they've essentially made a corridor for everybody to like be escorted him. Okay. And Does... when I asked my question, did they completely ignore yeah, as me, if, like, like they couldn't respond? Yeah, as if like there was almost like you never said it, right? Hmm. I'm gonna be like, they are not sentient beings. I don't know if I can tell that, but Dunno, what did you roll? I um dunno, roll how to know if something's sentient. Roll a what now? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, roll insight. Yeah, I was always going to say insight. Give me a wee cheeky insight. Cheeky insight should be on the bed. Oh, uh, no. Maybe they're just like those trained guards that don't respond to every single question mm -hmm. prisoners have. Right? They're like the British military. Yes. On a good day. Whoever the British are in this world. <laughs> what? The who? What? I think they're called the elves. <laughs> oh, right. I hate those guys. Does everybody want to follow in line then? Um... Skittish. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the letter. Everybody else? Mm. Yeah, um, I'm just, I was just waiting to see oh. if what other folk were <laughs> going to end up doing. Um, <laughs> yep. So, Feel like that. <laughs> right, okay, I'll go around the middle. Anyway. <laughs> so as I'm kind of walking out, um, I'll also be like examining like this line that the runes would be on and being like yeah it just it looks like just stonework right it looks flush with the room you were in the black polished mm. stone so there's no like protruding rooms or anything no like there's that. like there's no mechanisms you can see there's no carved mm. rune structure in the wall either i am um, and like to your knowledge something would need to be able to like project it right yeah and there's nothing like that oh like you literally yeah, stepped so out of like, like a, a box wall. <laughs> yeah. So it's almost as if like like I'd imagine like as I'm walking out of here, like walking over here would be like walking on hard terrain just because I completely slow down just to get a big look on it and then I just walk. Yeah. Like, like you, you oh. your your time dilation kicks are like yeah. uh, taking as many notes as possible and carry on. Uh yeah. I and then these are these are escorted out of the kind of compound uh, you don't see any people at all um, 
you just walk by some other rooms that look similar, like those kind of empty kind of cells, the empty microwaves, and you are escorted out into like the fresh air of what does sound very quickly like a city, right? Like all the noises, the ambient noises of a city, you know, planes overhead and stuff, you know. <laughs> but, ah, yes. Uh, I think those are British planes. Yes, British Airways, anyway. Um, <laughs> and the two escorts that you're with, um, I know you didn't realise you were in for a treat, did you? Uh, the two escorts <laughs> that you're with um, both state at the same time to like the, the start and the end. Uh, deviation from the route is not recommended. Your safety yes. and freedom cannot be guaranteed if you deviate. No, I'm, I'm happy to follow. Mm-hmm. And then... He is not happy about it. <laughs> but... I'll be... I, I, I won't wouldn't say I'd deviate, but obviously I'd be oh, like well. peering over the ledge a little bit. Do we need to put you on a lead? I'm switching just, to just, my sad mask. Just testing the water a little bit, just like... I'm not going off the trail, I'm just looking over it. <laughs> yeah, and then he's are like, he's are he's realised you're at the other side of the gatehouse, right? I am at the bottom of that that mm. march, as it were. Mm. I, and yeah, so he's start to get escorted up along this I think, way. Um, just oh. as we're starting to go up the stairs, I'll walk up just behind Thea and whisper in her ear, um, I'll follow your lead. So you lean over Fleabite very surreptitiously. Yep. Oh, Who's on the back of Cognac? <laughs> so I'm still That's fine. You can you just can walk side by side. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I just like the idea that Fleabite is just, just blue, blue wind thing. I bet you can't jump off off. Jump off of what? And what? I don't as have we're wings. Like here. <laughs> uh, no, you aren't even that far yet. Oh, sorry. Okay, no. and as we're like here. <laughs> no, as in you're 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 still like there currently, for purposes of this. <laughs> Alexander, what is it Fleabag keeps calling me? Blue wind thing. Blue wind thing, right? I thought you said winged. Yeah, Yeah. no, I thought you said winged, and I'm like, I don't have wings. No, it's what he called you in session three. (laughs) Oh, you did, yes. Yep, yep. Blue wind thing, yes. Yep, that's Fleabag's name for you. I mean, really, not to get a bit super global racist GM here, but like... Your race isn't really a race anymore. So, is it really racism? Also, um, Skaven view every other race as not being sentient compared to Skaven. So, and you're that's, the that's why like, nothing else is like, uh, everything's a thing. Nothing is a being, it's a thing. Oh. It's okay. just, you know, Skaven life, that's all, you know. Just Skaven things. <laughs> yep. That's the Skaven life. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so what happens then is you, I guess, begin your journey and we take our break there, is what happens. Uh, and we come back at like, I don't know, 10 past, 10 past 9, I'll do already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everybody, until. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B